Hi folks, uh, I'm in Kirkcaldy today and I'm going to check out the railway bridge um, at Inverteel uh, and what remains of what was a railway line that went down to Seafield. So, we'll take a look. And... Uh, now originally there was a junction, you know, pretty much on the bridge um, and the, the line then went down that way and heads off to Ochtertool and then eventually heads up to Cowden Beath. Um, so, I mean, that's been lifted for 70, 80 years or something like that, according to the maps. Um, but there's still kind of remnants of the line uh, as you go along there. You know, sleepers getting used as fence posts. Uh, there's some bridge parapets and things like that. So, I mean, one of the one of the ideas that we'd had, uh, we've had it for a couple of years, is to take a walk uh, along that way. And I think a few people have, um, but we'll leave that for another time. Um, but today we're going to take a look uh, at this bridge, and there's a tunnel, well, it's a bridge, that goes underneath the line a wee bit further down as well. So you can see like the bridge has been widened at some point, um, or modernised. Certainly extra been added to it. So we'll go we we walked in here. So the line the junction came off and went that way obviously to go to Ochter Tool. But uh, there was then a, a line that came off that and then went back underneath the main line and then heads down towards or headed down to Seafield So here's in the field And those are some slippy looking steps. Oh fuck. Whoa, shit, nearly. No going back up that way. So here, that's where the line came back through. So, like I said, the line came off, comes off the main line, and then heads to Ochter Tool, and then eventually Cowden Beath. But then branch, there was a branch that came off that, which then came this way, underneath here, and then went that direction. So we'll take a wee walk up there in a minute. Up there, there's just the kind of remains of what was the bridge uh, for another line that went underneath that road. So we'll take a wee closer look in here. Obviously well known by locals. Oh, there's been a footpath here at one point then. It looks like they've started a footpath, but it's never went any further.
So these are uh, these are certainly in better quality than the ones in the Glenfark tunnel. I mean, the brickwork's all still there. Uh, I mean, I understand the Glenfark tunnel ones, a lot of them are just dug out. I mean, actually faced at all. But uh, still, it's nice to see that detail. This one, because the light's a bit better. You can see it a bit more. I'm guessing people have been trying to set fires in it. Uh, usual kind of shit you get in these places. And again, nice to see the, the curved face in there. The refuse point. Refuge point, sorry. There's one for Athol. Okay, so that's the tunnel. Uh, and like we say, the line came through here and then headed down this way. Obviously all this area has been built up over time um, and the houses have been built. But the line ran in this direction and then underneath underneath there so you know without you're looking at maps um, while I'm doing this so obviously back then the houses across here I think maybe they were there you know, have a look at the map and you maybe be able to tell um, and then here there's still a slight embankment coming down so there would have been an embankment coming down and then something like the same on that side and then the railway itself going underneath here and it's all been infilled since then so the railway run underneath here and as I say, it continued down along where those trees are, the railway comes running down here. Now this building is obviously older, and then we've got the new buildings here. But if you have a look here, I think, I'm going to take a closer inspection, I think that's the metal for a railway bridge. Yeah. There you go. So there's the two, there's the ends as well. So that the, each side of the railway bridge there. I'm in Seafield Car Park. Uh, the railway bridge would have been uh, around about that area. All this area has been redeveloped in the last 20 years. There is what looks like uh, part of an old railway embankment there. Um, but whether that was connected to the to the, the line that we were looking at there, I um, don't know. But all this area has been redeveloped, so there's not really any kind of signs. Um, there's no old, you know, parapets or um, signs or anything like that. Just what looks like that. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and share, and we'll catch you there.